Celtics still fighting. Well, there's a fellow we haven't talked about in this series, never mentioned his name, but he'll go into the books. Billy Thompson, who was acquired in a deal with Atlanta, played on the NCAA champion Louisville Cardinals last year, and is on the way to becoming only the fourth player in NBA history to go from an NCAA crown to an NBA title. There are the others. And of course, he's playing with one of them in Magic Johnson. And Billy Thompson had a hyperextended knee, suffered in the first series against Denver, and he is a player that Pat Riley and the Lakers like down the road. He's got that speed to get on the wing, plus power to rebound, maybe even better than Worthy on the offensive glass. Pat Riley had his way. Every player would be between 6'7 and 6'9 and could run on the line. And, and the think. Court. Two and a half remaining. And a foul and Kareem, no basket. Birds coming back in for the Celtics. And Roberts going out. 99-87 and the Celtics down by 12 with 2.30. And of course, they have slowly pecked away here. I can remember when I coached him, and he was with the Milwaukee Bucks. And I thought the best way to beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was to attack his stamina. Was I wrong, huh? No, we won the championship that year, but here he is, 40 years of age. He's somehow really got that stamina and then some. Well, he's become a lot more warmer and accessible. I think the fire that destroyed his home was in the park there because people around the country sent him jazz albums and I think he became a much warmer person since that time well he sits in the locker room and he talks to people now you know not uh, he was very quiet introspective person and everybody uh, kind of was uh, reluctant to really invade that privacy that shell that was around him but he's much more open now, it appears. And he enjoys the game, as I guess everyone does. When you get toward the end of the career, you realize what you may be missing, and you appreciate it a little more. Larry Bird has six points since the first period. It's a 12-point lead for the Lakers, and they're 215 away from winning. They did a great job on Larry Bird, denying him the ball, the Lakers, really putting a, a quick man on him, working him over the picks. for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He carried them all through the first half until they managed to unleash that quickness and speed. And uh, he is as big a part of this thing, probably bigger than anybody else right now, because he held the fort. And then in the third period, when he went to the bench with foul trouble, it was Magic and Michael. Michael Thompson and Magic Johnson who took over, and that was the key moment in this game. Bird fighting his way in. 104-81. This might be the last time we'll see the five Celtic starters together. They got to make sure that they don't undergo wholesale changes either, as the Lakers didn't last year. Michael Thompson with 15 points. The Celtics have been a great organization of knowing when to hold and when to fold, I'll tell you. But they don't sell that nuclear short until it's way down the road, too far to be reclaimed. Kareem the rebound. And I'm sure Pat Riley will want to start taking his stars out. And it's going to come soon. dead ball you're going to hear a couple of rousing ovations day is fouled and now you'll hear him kareem goes over to casey jones and shakes his hand and magic goes out as well
Italian group that is. Cooper is out. Magic scored 16 points and had 19 assists. Kareem with 32 points and four block shots. And the Lakers wound up undefeated at home in the playoffs. I must say, Dick, a little tribute to the Celtics, too. They never gave an inch in this entire series. No, they didn't. They got beaten, but they... Never quit. They came up a real grit. Adrian Branch. And a foul. 29 seconds remaining. The last time the Lakers won the title, they won it in Boston Garden. They're winning this at home against the team they want to beat more than any other. celebration belongs here. And they're getting ready to pop the courts. Champagne is flowing in the locker room of the NBA champion Los Angeles Lakers. We'll be back with the... Pat, thank you. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, at the age of 40, you're still collecting championships. Kareem, this one has to feel about as sweet as any of the others. Oh, it's a nice one. It's uh, We work real hard for it, and I think the most uh, significant part of it is that uh, at the beginning of the season, nobody picked us to even finish first in our division. And uh, here we are with the World Championship. I'm really proud of this team. Kareem, will you definitely be back next year and for two years? Are you committed to two years now? Well, I'll definitely be back next year. Uh, the Lakers are trying to talk to me about a, an additional year. I'm going to listen to what they have to say. I haven't made any commitment on that. All right, but we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Congratulations. Yeah, the most valuable player. 
for the third time. They have won four championships, and Magic Johnson, an MVP, unanimous choice. Congratulations. Thank you, SS. It was a t total team effort, really. You know, we all just uh, chipped in and just got the job done, and it's just great to be a champ again. Does this one feel better than even the first one, Magic? Oh, yeah, it, it did. Because of the fact what we did during the regular season, we carried it on into the playoffs. So it, it, it's, it's definitely the sweetest one. I'd just like to say hello to my mom and dad back in Lansing, Michigan. All right, congratulations, Magic. We will continue from the Lakers locker room.